I'm testing viral Minecraft life hacks and tricks to prove they 100% work and are not trash clickbait. Watch until the end to change your life forever. 10 second Minecraft tip, use coal blocks instead of coal. Because Wait, one block why? smelts 80 items and it's only made from nine pieces. Uh -huh. And nine pieces individually would only smelt 72 items. You just Wait, smelt 10% more. It's so go out there and make there your parents no proud. No way. There's only one way to test this life hack and that's with an experiment. <laughs> Wait a minute, I stepped up. This is an evil experiment. So we're gonna go ahead and place down one and two furnaces, one for our coal block, one for our regular coal, hoppers above each of those, chests above each of those, and then we're going to put two stacks of 64 iron into each of our furnaces like so. Now, let's put down our crafting table and meet the contestants of today's competition. We've got ourselves the very dangerous, the very black block of coal versus nine coal, which is exactly how much it takes to craft a block of coal. So ready, guys, let's go ahead and put the block of coal on the left and the nine coal on the right. And now, the most exciting part, we wait. This really isn't that exciting. <laughs> And the coal furnace is down! As you guys can see, it is finished, it is done So We got ourselves a total of 72 iron ingots and then 56 iron ore was left behind. The coal block though is still going strong here, guys. We got 1351 already, you can see, that somehow turning the coal from individual pieces to a whole block means you are able to smelt more. We're about to see if it's exactly 80, just like the video said. We should be able to get a total of 16 iron ingots here, guys. All right, 15. The moment of truth, it's going, it's going hard. We're almost there. And there we go. We got ourselves our 16 with 48 iron ore returning 80 if you use a block, 70 to if you use the individual cold pieces. So what are you doing? Stop being lazy, guys. Here is a life hack of the century. Make sure you always craft your coal into coal blocks. Oh, the poor iron coal has been absolutely destroyed. Oh. Did he, just, did he just repair the iron golem? How did he do that? Feeding the iron golem iron? What? How does that work? I've never tried this before. That's genius. All you're going to need is some iron. So let's give this a test. You're going to be my test subject. I'm so sorry, man. All right. So as you can see, he's taken a decent amount of damage. You can see the wreckage on our iron golem here. And now we've got ourselves some iron ingots. Let's go ahead and feed this to the big guy. Yo! I just fed him one iron ingot. And that basically like half repaired him already and two iron ingots, and he is full health once again. That is insane. Considering, guys, if you wanted to make a brand new iron golem, you were going to need uh, four iron blocks, I believe it is, and then one a cup pumpkin. Like, you need all this iron. That is a total of nine times four, what, 36 iron to build one of this, but only two iron ingots to repair it? Oh my goodness, that is insane. That is literally the best way to make sure your iron golems don't die, guys. You need to repair them all the time. Why are you not finding any netherite? All right, tell me, because I'm sick of mining for this stuff. Okay, so you place TNT every four blocks along, you hit F3G, and you need to place the TNT beside these weird glowy lines, but how is that gonna help me find netherite? I don't understand. So, uh, I suppose the first thing I should do is hit F3 and D on my keyboard and see what this does. Wow! Okay, we got a bunch of wacky lines everywhere. And in the chat, it says chunk borders shown. So this must be how Minecraft generates its terrain. And they were placing TNT right on the edge of one of these chunk borders. Maybe that increases the chance of finding ancient debris because that's how the game renders it. It renders it near a chunk border. I don't really know if that's the only thing that makes sense in my head, but let's give this a go. So they were digging out a tunnel into the wall of netherrack like so and then we're placing down a block of tnt then going one two and then three placing down another block of tnt and pretty much continuing this cycle through so we place that one two three go again we come down there and then one two three four i don't know exactly why it has to be three blocks across maybe that is the extent of the blast radius of this tnt I don't get it. Well, let's see whether we can find any ancient debris to get ourselves a netherite. Three, two, one, bang! Normally, this literally takes me days of mining to find netherite. So if this works, I'm going to be so excited. Okay, do we see? You have got to be kidding. Yo, what? And another piece there? Are you serious? What? Literally, normally mining, it takes me forever to find this. Just like that, and I barely even did any mining. Guys, you have to do this. This is by far the easiest way to get netherite. 
Getting the full effect from a splash potion more often than not seems like a fantasy and not so much a reality. Right? I can but never get the full out, time of my potions. into the present, all you have to do is look straight up and land a splash potion square on your noggin. Huh? By doing that, you hit the sweet spot right on your character's hitbox. Are you and serious? That's all I have to know. It's that advertised. simple. I just have to hit the hitbox yeah, yeah, right on the top. The dispensers. Huh. And you can set up the proper potion system. Now this is a life hack and a half. Each time. Which will have your friends wondering why your speed system works so much better than theirs. <laughs> Basically, I've got myself a splash potion of swiftness, which is supposed to give me one minute and 30 seconds. Normally, I just throw it down like that, run into it, and I've got myself, what, 43 seconds? You see how lame that is, guys? What happened to my one minute 30? Let's go ahead and clear our effects. Now, you can see no effects whatsoever. We're going to try throwing it straight up in the sky and see if this does any better. All right, throw it up, bang, open it up. And look at that, I got the full 1 minute and 30 seconds. That is so great. Your potions will be more effective this way. Let's also see if it works with the dispenser, because then this would guarantee you, you know, every single time you could make a simple potion machine without having to throw it yourself. And then this would also give you the full amount. So let's go ahead and clear our effects once again. And then we'll chuck in our potion. I'll hit the button, bang! Let's check it. Look at that again. 1 minute 30, full duration, guys. I still can't believe I've been playing Minecraft for 10 years and I had no idea this was a thing. All right. What are we crafting here? We got some cobblestone. Wait, are we making a furnace? How is that a life hack? Everyone knows you need furnaces to smelt ores. Okay, we place them next to each other. That's that's the hack. No, no. Okay, we're digging them up. I am so confused right now. Okay, we're placing one there with a space between the two of them. And he's got a slime block in his inventory. What is he doing with this? Placing it above the furnace? What? We're sticking the furnaces together? I don't see how this will help in any way. What the? A double furnace? You can make those? You just gotta stick them together? It's like a double chest, but a double furnace. That thing's gotta be crazy efficient with smelting ores. I need that in my world. Give me, give me, give me a double furnace. I am so excited. I had no idea this was in the game. That was a, that was a horrible rendition of Give Me a Man After Midnight, guys. Luckily, I can't get copyrighted for those. So let's go ahead and place down our furnaces. Normally, you place them down side by side. It ain't do nothing, all right? You can't do this. That isn't gonna work. But they went ahead, placed them separately. Then we place a slime block here on the left. And this somehow sticks our two furnaces together. Let's go ahead and close that up. Places next to it. Three, two, one, bang. Why are you not sticking together? Huh? Maybe I need to do it on the other side. Slime on top. Bang. Ba bang. It's not what. It's clickbait. We got clickbait. No, I was so excited. We're getting revenge. I am exposing this clickbaiter. These blocks are not what they appear to be. Because you may have noticed one crucial detail in the TikTok. They never actually use their double furnace because it doesn't work. In fact, it is actually just a texture pack that has the two blocks looking like two halves of a furnace. In this case, we're using a blast furnace and observer. And you can place these side by side like so. If I could get it right, come on. There we go, side by side. There is our blast furnace, so it still works like a furnace. And then our observer over here. Then the way they made it using a slime block is we're gonna dig down one, two, three blocks like so. We're gonna place this repeating always active command that's setting a blast furnace above here when it detects a furnace. And then above this, we're going to have a conditional chain that is going to set block an observer up front here. So now all we need to do is go ahead and cover that up. We can place our furnaces here like that, chuck down our slime, and then put this down, and boom, check it out. You got yourself your double furnace, just like the video. You're in new 1.17 advancements? Wait, he's putting a goat in a boat? <laughs> and it gives you the achievement, whatever floats your goat. There's no way that's real. Okay, he's waxing with honeycomb and then taking it off with an axe. Wax on, wax off. I know those achievements are definitely real. We're putting an axolotl in a bucket that's giving us the cutest predator advancement. I'm pretty sure that's real, but I'm not certain. Wait, what's this? The healing power of friendship? You gotta kill a drown using axolotls, I think? Okay, what, wait. No, guys, <laughs> What's this here, guys? Okay, and then, oh, we use the glowing sack, and that gives you glow and behold. I know that one is definitely real. All these brand new enchantments. What's this? We're putting on leather boots, and you get light as a rabbit? No, I need to try that. What's this one here? Surge protector? How in the world do you get that advancement? Using a lightning rod? I, I don't understand here. Oh, and what's this? We're in a jungle now, and we've got a spyglass to do what? You spot a pirate and you get, is it a bird enchantment? How am I supposed to figure these out? And then you get, is it a balloon for a gas? But well, we're going to be testing the ones that I find a little sus. The first off is whatever floats your goat. We're going to chuck a goat in a boat, jump in, 
Yeah, it's real. Whatever floats your goat is a real achievement. Okay, let's jump into the water here, guys. Next up, I want to try the cutest predator. Hoot, hoot. Come on, let me pick you up. Let me pick you up. Uh, so I actually figured out you can get the cutest predator achievement, but you have to be in survival in order to pick the axolotl up. I, that's why I couldn't do it in Korean, but that is real. Now, I've been trying to get the next achievement, the healing power of friendship for ages now, and I couldn't figure it out. So I googled it, and apparently you need to place down a two drown like so. Have an axolotl in the center. Switch into survival. It'll attack one of them and you need to help the axolotl finish off the drown guys So we're gonna go ahead help him out guys BAM! Alright, we kill him, and then we get the effects here, and you look at that, guys! We got ourselves the healing of power of friendship, and you can see, we got ourselves the healing from the axolotl. That was absolutely awesome! Alright, so let's see, we've got this advancement here with our powdered snow. Apparently, if we wear leathered boots and then walk over the powdered snow, yo, we get ourselves light as a rabbit! That makes sense, because normally, if you're not wearing the leather boots, you actually sink and fall into the powdered snow like so. Alright, we've tried out all of these, but we still have a few more to try, but I can't test them here. Now, it turns out for Surge Protector, you can't just chuck a lightning rod wherever you like. It has to be inside of a village. Then we have to wait for it to get to a thunder weather. And essentially, what needs to happen is that lightning rod needs to get struck by lightning in a village, and you will get this advancement. It's a very odd achievement, because you can't get it anywhere else. You can only get it in a village here, guys. And now we just kind of have to wait for some lightning. Strike! Strike, oh, lightning rod. So uh, I got bored and went to get snacks. I don't know if I actually got it. So let's go ahead and check here at advancements, guys. Scroll down. Ah, oh, I got it. It's a real thing. Surge protector. Protect a villager from an undesired shock without starting a fire. Hey, I did it. Too bad I missed it. Aww. And the last one. There's no way this is real. Mojang wouldn't call a ghast a balloon. Let's try it out. All right, zoom in. <laughs> it's real! Is it a balloon? Spyglass into a gun. That is so dumb, but I love it. What magic is this? Whoa! What magic is that? He's throwing some sort of item into the ground and it just automatically fills up all of the blocks. That is so dope. Okay, look at it. That is honestly so satisfying, guys. But what is that item? Is that actually a real item in Minecraft? I mean, this is a fantastic, easy way to fill up blocks like so. Wait, will it even... It even copies patterns as well. This would make your life so much easier. Now, the video wasn't clickbait. It didn't say it was a mod. And I automatically knew that that wasn't a real item in vanilla Minecraft. As you can see, it is nowhere here. I even double-checked all of the items. But it is, in fact, a mod. So I went Googling, and here we go, the whole of filler mod. And this is exactly what we saw in the video like so. So I'm going to download it and test it out. All right, let's switch over to page two of the event. Sorry, we've got ourselves the hole filler. We've got a ton of different hole fillers here. Apparently, this is the super big brain one. This is the smart hole filler. Let's give it a go in this ravine and bang, throw it in. Yo, that is so cool. Oh my goodness, look at this thing go. It just absolutely filling. Now, this is so cool, guys. Look at this thing come up. I'm just literally filling a ravine. This is one of the most satisfying things I've ever seen. Look at it go. Oh, guys, this is so nice. This is literally satisfying everything I've ever wanted in Minecraft. Oh my goodness, look at that ravine go. Oh, this is so much nicer than filling in the blocks by hand. And now there's no longer a vent. Honestly, this, sh this should make it to like a satisfying Minecraft compilation. But what isn't satisfying, guys, is we're actually out of time, which means if you want to see more hacks, you need to subscribe and watch the next video. I'll see you there. But until then, I stream out. Bye.